Have you ever felt like someone has gone way too soon? Avery Huffman is a hero in our community. She inspired so many people in our city and she touched hearts around the world. This bench is a celebration of Avery's life. It's also a reminder for all of us to reach out and help people who have cancer. If you're watching this video, pray for someone who has cancer. Make a difference in their lives right now. Encourage them in their battle. Avery had DIPG, a rare form of cancer, a tumor in her brain stem. She fought valiantly for her life. I couldn't imagine what her family went through. And at the same time, their faith was so evident and powerful. We have people ask us all the time, like, how did you get through this? How did you get through this difficult time? And the reality is there, there's two, two ways to answer that question. One, you know, I don't know that we got through it all that easily. But the other side of it is like 100%, it was our reliance on the Lord. And it was our trust in God and our trust in the Lord to give us peace, to give us comfort, to give her peace and comfort, to strengthen uh, her and to really just allow us to navigate those waters. Another prayer that we had um, when Avery was diagnosed was of course that we would feel equipped to provide her um, and be everything that she needs. When in reality, what, what happened is that God used her in our life to um, really to rely on Him more. And so having, having walked that, that's been our prayer is that, you know, we don't have her here with us, but gosh, if we can, you know, continue to represent all that she did and stood for, um, and, uh, and, and keep her memory alive, um, and that nothing that she suffered through was in vain. Um, that is our hope, that, that just our example, um, and the way that we make ourselves available uh, to tell her story, to share her life, um, to, be, to be a tool for maybe other families that are going through grief in some capacity. Um, we're just, we're just trying to use this experience as we continue to rely on the Lord each and every day. It's the only way that we can get up and, and face a new, a new morning. We're learning that even in grief and pain and heartbreak um, on a daily basis, that, that there, can, there can be a balance of joy. I think the, the one thing that gives us probably most comfort more than anything as a parent you're always worried like where are your children who are they with who's uh who's watching them who's around them and you know for us to know that if that sickness and that was taken away and she was healed and now she's in the presence of god i mean you can't be in any better hands than that there, there's no question about it and you know the, the while our sadness here that she's not here with us to know that she is with the Lord, it helps the broken heart, it helps heal that broken heart, and brings that peace and that comfort to us on a daily basis. Sometimes it's in the darkest seasons that faith shines and it's so evident. Do you know anyone who's gone through something so difficult, heart-wrenching, challenging to the core, and you've seen their faith prevail? And not just faith, but faith in God, a God who is good. The Bible says he's the God of all comfort. He's the lifter of our heads. He will never leave us or forsake us. And that includes when someone's going through cancer. What is seen is not the whole picture. What is unseen is often more important than what is seen. Because of Jesus, the story is not over with death and the story is not over for Avery.